And we know that we're missing upwards of 14,000 children who've experienced child sexual abuse. But a new partnership will hopefully make sure more of the most vulnerable victims can get the care and support they need. The Children's Advocacy Center of Kent County coordinates the community response to child sexual abuse. That means bringing together law enforcement, child protective services, medical professionals and therapists to deal with cases and using those resources to promote education and prevention. Now, take a look at these statistics. These are all from Kent County. The CAC sees three to four new cases of sexual abuse a day. That equals more than 1,000 a year. One in 10 children will be sexually abused before their 18th birthday. In Kent County, 99% of survivors know their offender. Nearly 45% of them live in the child's home. The need for their services is great, and now they're more accessible. We know that if we can get in front of child sexual abuse um, as soon as possible, we can get that child on the path to healing, but also provide support services for the family. But the only way the Children's Advocacy Center can get in front of the problem is to identify where it's happening. Melissa Workman is the president and CEO. She believes they're missing 14,000 children who have experienced abuse. We know that we are missing a fair number of families um, more in the urban core. We've identified a few key places in Kent County that we know that um, if we are able to meet families where they are, we're going to be able to improve their access. This building on Michigan just off the Beltline is where the Children's Advocacy Center does the majority of their great work. But now there's a new option for people. A little more than four miles away here at the Cherry Health Heart of the City building, families will be able to get some of those same services right in the heart of downtown GR. So this is our way of, you know, really bringing care to those individuals in, you know, a location where they trust providers, they feel comfortable, um, they know that we're there to, to love on them and care for them. Tasha Blackman is the president and CEO of Cherry Health. She also serves on the board of the CAC. I became acutely aware of some of the needs that our patients had with the CAC um, that could possibly be improved by having a satellite site um, in the inner city, in the urban core. Patients here get comprehensive care regardless of their insurance or ability to pay. We provide medical, dental, behavioral health services, services and the beauty of our services is that we provide care that is integrated which means all of the providers are able to talk about your care they're able to consult with one another about your care which makes the outcomes that our patients experience pretty seamless. Now there's just another branch to that care through the CAC in the form of therapy and trauma specific training for all of the pediatric providers, a way to reach more of the community closer to home. You know, I think as your organization grows and develops, you realize that you can't do it all alone um, and you shouldn't have to do it all alone. So partnerships like the one that we have with the CAC, I think heightens the care that we provide, but it, because it allows them to specialize in, you know, their area of expertise. This is a community wide problem. It is not just our problem to solve and it happens in every community in Kent County, uh, regardless of social economic status, um, regardless of faith or belief system, um, it is in everyone's backyard. So it's incumbent upon all of us to respond. So why is this so important? Well, according to the Children's Advocacy Center, children who are sexually abused are at a significantly greater risk of attempting suicide and developing post-traumatic stress, anxiety, and depression. And as those survivors grow into adulthood, they're twice as likely to try to take their own life and 30% more likely to have a serious medical condition like diabetes, cancer, heart problems, stroke, or hypertension compared to those who are not abused. If you have any questions or may be concerned about child abuse in your home or in your community, you can reach out to the CAC. We've put all of their information for you on our website.